Okay, kids, that's your homework for Friday. We'll see you guys later. I'm Alan Barksdale, and I teach American history here at Galloway School. We have had the Jug Band here at Galloway now for 11 years. I guess ever since I was in college, I've been very interested in old-timey American music. I had had a couple of instances where I had been playing music with kids at school and we created a club where we played old time music. Originally, jug band music was something that was popular back in the 1920s. It was a response to people in rural areas wanting to play music who may not have necessarily been able to afford store-bought instruments. My name is Michael Groom, and I play wash tub bass in the Galloway Jug Band. The wash tub bass is a, a wash tub, and then there's a string that attaches towards the center of the wash tub so that you tighten the string by pulling back on the stick for tension, and that changes the pitch as you play it. I'm Savannah Long, and I play the washboard in the jug band. A washboard is, I mean, pretty much exactly what it sounds like. In the olden days, they used it to wash clothes, and you play it, it's made of metal, and you play it with spoons or thimbles or whatever you can find, really, and it makes a nice little percussive sound. I'm Emily Earhart, and I play the bones in the jug band. Well, the bones are some kind of animal bone, and they're like tied with a string on one side, and you play it on your knee or with your hand. Generally, we practice once a week. We play traditional American songs. Folk type of music. Traditional American um, ballads. We can play bluegrass. Some blues. The real point of the, of the deal is to get kids interested in traditional American music. This was supposed to be fun music. It was supposed to be fast-paced music. And it's not like the rock and roll they hear on the radio, but it's equally spirited and, and, and peppy. You can grab three people, run outside, play some music. It can be very spontaneous. And that's the way people did things in the old days, and certainly I think they can continue it to some extent today. Hey, let's hear that train whistle. <laughs> Go. <laughs> I think I learned a lot from Jug Band. 
I don't know, something about learning all of these songs, you kind of get an idea of the evolution of music. I think people enjoy it and, you know, we have a fun time. We don't say, you know, no, that's not a good sound, you can't play with us, we're, we're open to anything. It's just fun. They have fun, I have fun, they learn stuff, I learn stuff. I couldn't ask for anything more. Thank you guys, we appreciate it.